So today I want to talk to you about two online resources that you can use to improve your pronunciation. Before we begin, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to our channel for more video lessons on how you can practice and improve your English. This lesson is going to be a little bit of a learning tutorial because I'm sure many of you out there want to improve your pronunciation. And one of the most common questions that we get is people asking us, how can we practice our pronunciation? What resources are out there? So today I want to show you two resources that you can use to practice your pronunciation and do all of this completely on your own. So the first online resource that I'd like to show you is called Youglish. Now, Youglish is a search engine that will help you find the pronunciation of any word out there, and it searches through a lot of different videos on YouTube. So if you want to know the pronunciation of a certain word or phrase, you can type it into the search, and it'll show you a lot of different videos with the words or phrase that you are looking for so you can see how people are pronouncing this in context. So let's just take a sentence for example and the sentence is where do we go from here? So we can just type that into the search and it's going to bring up different videos with people saying that exact sentence. So you can see it just immediately goes to a video, just a random video that it found on YouTube and it highlights the words that you just typed in. So now we can listen to different people say that sentence in different contexts. We have a soul searching moment of like, where do we go from here? Like, what do we do now? Where do we go from here? Not only that, we can divide the search up and say that we wanted to hear the American pronunciation of it. We can click right here where it says US. So now we can hear people saying this sentence in an American accent in different contexts. So, where do we go from here? It's easy to point the finger at corporations and blame computing. And finally, where do we go from here? And the videos will just continue playing and you can go back and listen to them again and you can just keep listening to them over and over to hear how people are saying it, to hear the rhythm and flow of their speech and the intonation as well as the emphasis. And say you want to hear it in a British accent, then we can click where it says UK and listen to a British accent. Got here and what's happening, but where do we go from here? list which comes out twice a year. So where do we go from here? Final round. The yeah, Eggheads lost one earlier. Where do we go from here? The answer is film and TV. Even if we want to hear it in an Australian accent, we can find videos with people saying it in an Australian accent. Now, where do we go from here? Okay. It's beautiful. Okay, so where do we go from here? Very, yeah. very, very pretty area. So where do we go from here then, let's go. So Youglish is a very important tool if there is a word or sentence that you want to hear and see, well, how are people saying this word? And also find out, well, what context is it being used in? So how do we improve our pronunciation and how do we practice it? To put it in simple terms, pronunciation is just two different parts. The first part is just making sure that your mouth is in the right position in order to make individual sounds. Are you able to get your mouth in the right position and push the air in and out to make sure that that sound is coming out correctly? The next part is listening to the way that sound is said correctly and then trying to imitate that and repeat that and say it in the same way. Because when people are talking and communicating, they are taking groups of sounds, putting them together to make words and putting those together to make sentences. And when we listen to them come together, there is a rhythm and flow to it because of intonation, emphasis and stress. The next pronunciation resource I want to show you is called Yarn. And Yarn is a site that is full of short 
video clips from movies, television, music, and this is a great resource for actually practicing your pronunciation. And you can do this by using a technique called shadowing. And shadowing is when you hear something being said and you try to repeat it in exactly the same way. You're trying to use the same intonation, the emphasis, and you're really trying to shadow what you are hearing and shadow exactly what is being said. So say that we want to know more about the word colossal and see how it's being used and actually practice saying that. We can do a search on yarn for that word and up comes a bunch of videos using the word colossal. So let's listen to some videos and then we'll repeat. Would be a colossal understatement. It would be a colossal understatement. Would be a colossal understatement. It would be a colossal understatement. It would be, would be a, a colossal, colossal understatement. understatement. In the most colossal way. 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 I paid for a colossal donut. 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 I don't have a donut. I, I paid, paid for, for a colossal, colossal donut. donut. Now let's say that we want to practice a sentence and we want to use the question, what's the matter with you? Now this can mean two different things. It can mean what's the matter with you, like what's wrong, are you okay? And it also can mean what's the matter with you, like what's your problem? And this is a great way to listen to how it's being said so you can understand how to use it when you want to express those feelings. So again, we can do a search for what's the matter with you and we find a lot of different videos using that exact question. Let's start out with some people asking that question like, you know, what's wrong? Are you okay? What's the matter with you? 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 What's, what's the matter, matter with you? you? What's the matter with 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 you? It's my Nicolas Cage impression. It's really bad. What's the matter with you? 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 Sound like an owl. You, you, you. What's the matter with you? Now let's see how it's used in the context of hey, what's your problem? What's the matter with you? 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 Yeah, I can't do that one very well. What's the matter with you? So as you can see, with each of those videos, we're saying the same question, but we're saying it a little differently depending on the context and the meaning that we want to convey. But this is a great way to practice your pronunciation because these videos are short and you can just listen to the way a word or a sentence is being said in a variety of contexts using a variety of intonation and try to repeat and repeat and repeat and shadow what you're hearing. And for additional practice and to make it even better, I would recommend recording yourself as you're doing this using your cell phone or a device on the computer so then you can go back and listen to the way that you are saying it and then listen to the way it's said in the video. And then when you listen to yourself saying it, you can compare that with the actual video. And by doing this, you'll be able to identify perhaps certain sounds that you're having trouble making because they don't match up with what you're hearing. Or perhaps you hear that your intonation is just a little off, or maybe you are not emphasizing a word the same way. So I'd highly recommend recording yourself as you're doing this. So if you want to improve your pronunciation, use the resources that are available to you. I will put a link to both of these sites in the description below. And what I'd like you to do is in the comments, let us know what you are doing to practice your your pronunciation. How are you trying to improve? What resources are you using or what methods? And I think this will help everybody and maybe we can learn new ways, techniques, or find out new resources that we can continue to practice and improve. Sharing is caring. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Two online resources, ugh, pronunciation and in, ugh. and this is a great reef. Ugh. Remember, sharing is caring. Thanks for watching and we'll see. Uh, I paid for a colossal donut.